Assalamu alaikum guys. Today I will be giving you an introductory tutorial to Power World Simulator. Power World Simulator is an interactive power system simulation package designed to simulate high voltage power system operation on time frame ranging from several minutes to several days. The software contains highly efficient power flow analysis package capable of efficiently solving systems with up to 1 lakh buses. You can read more about it on powerworld.com. Let's see the software layout now. It is much more like the Microsoft Office 2007 version. So let's create a new case. Go to this round cube, click it and click new case. Here it comes. Let's mix the images. We will make a simple circuit diagram for a circuit of our system with uh, let's assume four buses and uh, then we will run or simulate so we must be there in edit mode for drawing it let's click the draw tab and then select the network tab let's select the bus just the left click will make uh, you see this option now let's name the bus like one and uh, go to the bus information and select as a system slack bus which will be the reference bus there must be only one slack bus in our, uh, in our circuit diagram let's put a generator go to the network, uh, network app click generator then then click over you will see this plus sign then click over this bus symbol once left click and set the rating to something like let's assume 500 megawatt output and press ok after this another bus it must be like some, uh, something like here let's name it 2 just press ok we are not going to set it system slack we are not going to set it <coughs> Let's put some load on it. Go to the network that click load and then click here on the bus. Load must be something around 200 megawatts and let's give it switched shunt. Uh, click here after selecting from network tab. Its nominal MVL must be very low, it must be like 2, 3 or 4, I am selecting a 2. Uh, let's pull on the bus a little bit, so that it must not mess up. So visual. Let's put, pull another bus from the network tab. something like here let's name it 3 and press ok and then the, another load from network tab load must be something around let's take it 250 250 megawatts and another switch and here click on the tab and let's take it 4 and we are nominal in here let's put some transform over here go to the network tab select the transformer uh, here is the tricky part click on the bus and you will see a line coming out single click to cover another single click and when where you are going to end it, there must be a double click. After double click, you will see some of the options you can set. Let's set it series resist and reaction sex to something like 0 0.02 and limit its MVL capability to 500. Here you go, we have a transformer here. Let's connect these buses with some transmission line. Mm. 
no it was not clicked go to the network tab click the transmission line click on the tra uh, transmission line uh, transformer single click then click here and then double click on the another box same series reactant as 0 0.02 I'm selecting the limit as 500 MV. Let's put well, let's put another bus over here with another generator. Let's put something around here. Simple bus. And I'm selecting another generator. I guess I forgot to rename it. Let's go to rename it to some alphabetical thing like four. Go to network, select the generator, click over the bus, you will see the properties and uh, let's take it somewhere around 200. We must connect this uh, fourth bus to this transmission line with another transmission line. It's quite simple, click on the tab, on the bus 4 and then move towards the other transmission line and then double click it. The reactance must be 0 0.02 here and limit must be 500 MVA. I guess we have a complete diagram over here. Let's see what we are doing here. We have two generators and uh, this generator and this bus are the reference one and they will change and this generator will I guess change its wattage value in, on the panel. Uh, with the dependency on these loads I guess 250, 200, sum up to 450 200 will be endured by this one and uh, all other loads will go here uh, about 250 watt generator it will become a 250 watt generator let's see what happens go to the run mode select the tools tab and let's simulate the circuit diagram yes I was right the circuit is simulating and this is 250 megawatt generator now because this was the reference slack uh, bus and this is the uh, static 200 megawatt generator the, this, this is the dynamicity of this PWS software I guess this, that's all for today see you around Allah Hafiz